Hello and welcome back to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. What I'd like to talk to you today is about fitting the Alco wheel lock. Um, they call this bit the lozenger. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Um, so quite an expensive lock and it's the only one that I've got. Um, on the twin axle I've got one of these and three Malenko wraiths. I've already done a previous vlog on fitting the Malenko wraith, uh, as well as one on fitting the Steady Locks and the Alco Premium Hitch Lock. Um, so if you've not looked at those already, um, search backwards and you should find those there on how to fit those locks. This is the last of the sort of security devices, apart from the door lock, which I've got to go through yet. Um, of fitting to the caravan. So this is the Alco wheel lock. Again, they come in different shapes and sizes and we'll take a look at how to fit that. Okay, the first thing we need to do, and I don't know whether you can see it, in here is a dust cap. Um, and depending on, or a dust cap on the chassis receiver for the Alco lock. So depending on your wheels, um, certainly with ours, what we need to do is get the, uh, or that receiver to line up with the center of one of these apart from the one with the um, tire inflator. So using the motor mover, we shall move the caravan very slightly forward um, until we've got, let's have a look there, until we've got that in the center. Yep, that looks like it's in the center. So first things first, if you've got the dust cap fitted is to remove that dust cap. Oops, a daisy. So that's the dust cap fitted. The dust cap looks like that and put that away for safekeeping. Um, as you can see, my cover has just fallen off the motor mover, uh, motor mover controller, but we've got that back on and we'll turn that off for the moment. Put that to one side. So now depending on your Alco um, kit, you might get bits like this in there. Um, you'll certainly, or you'll get a case like this, but you'll certainly need all of these bits. So what I'm gonna do first is now take the lozenger and then take this piece, uh, which is gonna screw into the um, chassis mount, which has got like a key weight head and drop it down in the middle. Then take this piece that's got the key way on there Put that in there and you can freely rotate that around line it up on the chassis and then literally just wind that in by hand so we wind that in by hand until it's so tight we've got a ratchet wrench here which we then use to lock that off and then taking the lock barrel when i can find the key so taking the lock barrel with the key in the end take the lock barrel, lock that off, and then close that shut. We'll hold that tight and then take the key out. And that is your Alco lock on. Now, they also it also does come with this rubber bung, um, certainly for using in storage to stop water getting into the lock. For years, I've been worried about losing those, but that just drops on there like that, and that just keeps that water top, water tight. So there's how to fit the Alco wheel lock. So removal is exactly the same as um, fitment, but just in the opposite direction. So remove the um, little water protection bit with your key, place your key in there. Sometimes it helps just to kind of hold the edge as you sort of turn the key, because it can be a bit stiff and that's it. And then just sort of pull that off, put that away, take your key out, put that away inside the box. Then again, using the tool that we used before um, with the specific keyway, place that in, put your wrench on, and then wind that out. Um, so you'll need that again, just to wind it all the way out by hand, and then slowly lift your lozenge off. Um, so there's the there's the um, screw that goes into the chassis there's the key weight and there's a the lozenge so place those back in their respective compartments take your dust cap fit your dust cap and refit that can be a little fiddly getting it through the wheel 
And that's that. And that's how to remove the Alco wheel lock. So that was how to fit and remove your Alco wheel lock. Um, just one point that's probably worth noting. If you change your caravan, you don't have to go and buy a whole new Alco wheel lock again. All you need to replace is the lozenge. What you can do is you can keep these two pieces, um, the chassis screw and the keyway screw. You can keep those two um, as they are interchangeable with all different shapes and sizes of Alco wheel locks. So they just sort of drop in there. So um, you can, as I say, if you swap caravans uh, and it's got a different size wheel and needs a different lozenge, that's all you need to do is you need to swap the lozenge. Now, some dealers will sell you lozenges separately, maybe even have used lozenges separately um, where other people have traded their caravans in. Um, or you might be able to find one on eBay or the Facebook marketplace. So you don't always have to go ahead and buy a brand new Alco lock, full lock. Now, what do I think of the Alco lock? Uh, yes, I think it's a very good secure lock. Can be a bit of a faff to fit, um, certainly in comparison to the Wraith. Um, I haven't got two of them, certainly on my twin axle, um, just because of getting both of those chassis mounts aligned. Um, it would be a bit of a pain trying to jack that up each time or jack the caravan up to spin one of the wheels. I know we've got a lock and level, but certainly in storage, I wouldn't want to leave it on the lock and level. Um, so I use the Alco lock on one wheel um, and the th three wraiths on all the other wheels. Now, the Caravan and Motorhome Club Insurance would give me a bit of a discount um, for using a second Alco wheel lock. Um, but I don't think the discount warrants but certainly um, the, the hassle of getting the two fitted. But that's my opinion. Um, if you've got any thoughts on whether you have two Alco wheel locks fitted, um, let us know um, in the comments below. So thanks again for joining us on Caravan Escapades. Please uh, remember to like, subscribe and share. Um, certainly the likes will help us um, promote the channel and get the channel moving. Um, so thanks very much for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Take care. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.